So if you take in more calories than you expend, for the most part, you have to get fatter. And if you expend more than you take in, you have to get thinner. And so we believe that this means that obesity is caused by taking in more energy than we expend. Makes perfect sense. And let me give you the good example for this. Let's say somebody wants to know, somebody's outside and they want to know why is this auditorium so crowded? Like when you're asking why someone got fat, you're saying, why do they have so much energy in their, stored in their fat tissue? And if you're asking why this auditorium is crowded, you're asking why is there so much energy in the form of people in this auditorium? So you ask me why did the auditorium get crowded, and I say, well, because more people came in than left. Okay? It's absolutely true. Okay, how can you deny it? It says absolutely nothing meaningful about why the, you guys are in here. And then you say, okay, Gary, I get you. You're being silly. Why did it get crowded? Come on, give me the real reason. I go, look, if more people come in than leave, it has to get crowded. As though now I've clarified things. <laughs> okay, I am saying the exact same thing as you're saying when you say, or somebody is saying to you when you say, you got fat because you took in more energy than you expended. It's the exact same logic. If you got fat, you had to take in more energy than you expended. Just if you came in, if the auditorium's crowded, it had to take in more people than it let out. But that tells you nothing about why. Nothing. And the answer to why is, well, maybe it's, you know, there's a bomb outside and you all ran in here. Or maybe there's a compelling speaker you want to hear. Or maybe there's a study hall going on. The conditions inside or outside that could determine why suddenly there's a lot of people in here. But the fact that more people came in than left tells you nothing, even though it's always true.